In this video we're going to look at reciprocals. Reciprocals is quite a fancy word um, and it is used in later mathematics when we look at um, perpendicular lines, so lines that meet at right angles. And we also use it um, in the division with fractions. So you will have seen it before in a, in a previous video when we did dividing fractions. Um, but I don't believe I actually use the word reciprocal. Okay, So by the term reciprocal, spelt like this, if you have a number, like the number 3, then the reciprocal is 1 over that number, so 1 third. If you had a number like 5, then it's 1 over 5, would be the reciprocal. If you had the number um, minus 2, then the reciprocal would be 1 over minus 2. Okay? Now, if you started off with a fraction, so if I said what is the reciprocal of 1 over 4, then the reciprocal of 1 over 4 is 1 over 1 over 4, which is actually the same as 4 over 1. So, this process from here to here, you don't really need to know or be able to or, or know the mechanics behind it rather. But if you have a fraction like 1 over 4, then the reciprocal flips the fraction upside down. And that's where we what we did in the division. Okay? If you remember with dividing fractions, we had to flip a fraction. And effectively what you're doing is finding the reciprocal. So if you started off with two thirds, then the reciprocal is three halves. So the fraction flips. The only tough one that you really need to know about is that if I wanted to know what is the reciprocal of 0.1, or let's not choose 0.1, let's do uh, 0.2. What's the reciprocal of 0.2? Then the reciprocal of that is 1 over 0.2. Okay, well that's fair enough. But we don't want to write 1 over 0.2. What you really want to do is be able to say, well, 0.2 is the same as 1 fifth as a fraction. So the reciprocal of 1 fifth is actually 5. And if you want to check, you can do 1 divided by 0 0.2 on your calculator, and you should get 5. So, if you've got a question that asks you to write down the reciprocal of 0 0.2, it's best to know that 0 0.2 is 1 fifth as a fraction, and then, well, the reciprocal of 1 fifth would be 5. Okay? So, whenever you have a fraction like this, it flips upside down. You can write it as 5 over 1 if you like, but that's exactly the same as 5. So this one over here is exactly the same as 4.